I just got done watching the season finale of Moon Knight, and I want to share my thoughts with you. Consider this your spoiler warning. What is up? I am the G.I. Joel, and I love comic books so much, I left a full-time job to pursue my dream of being a content creator and owning my own comic book shop. Now, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to join the G.I. Joel Nation. I personally am a big fan of Moon Knight and Mark Spector, and when I heard that Marvel was going to be giving him his own TV series, I was beyond excited. And frankly, this show did not disappoint. Well, not entirely. Starting off with some of the things I did like, I really enjoyed the acting from Oscar Isaac. I think he did a really good job showing both Mark Spector and the show's version of Stephen Grant. And when I say that, I also mean to say that I really enjoyed some of the adaptations and creative changes that they made to this series. I really like the look of both Moon Knight costumes, you know, kind of how the Moon Knight costume looked almost like mummy wrappings and mummy bandages and how it kind of grew onto him whenever he was summoning the suit. I also liked the kind of play on the mystery Knight costume, making that Steven's version of it, and also gave us a really distinct feel for both of those characters. And the thing that I probably liked most about this show was honestly how different and set apart from the rest of the MCU that it felt. It felt like this story was taking a really different approach to attacking the Marvel Universe, and I personally have been suffering from a little bit of Marvel fatigue from all the movies and TV shows, so this was a bit of a breath of fresh air for me. Now, the things that I didn't like about this series, you know, they are a bit nitpicky, and but they did take me out of the experience at times from really fully immersing myself and enjoying this program. One of the things is they took very, very little from the comics. And while I normally do not have a problem with that, I feel like they need to do all kinds of adaptations and redefine characters. I'm totally fine with that. But I went into this show expecting a very much more street-level, vigilante-type character that we're used to seeing in the comics when it comes to Moon Knight. And I really also felt like the entire series was just building up to the last episode. And while I did really enjoy just about every episode, it did feel like the first five episodes were just kind of waiting for the season finale. You know, we did get some really great character moments, especially in episode five, where we kind of learn the source of Mark's pain, the source of Mark's trauma, and then we kind of do that bouncing back and forth between reality versus what's going on inside of Mark's head versus the underworld and all that stuff. I thought that was really well done, and we had a lot of great character development, not just for Mark, for Steven, for Layla, for even for Arthur Howell, we had a lot of development for all the characters, but it really felt like episodes one through five, not much was happening in terms of the plot. And I really enjoyed a lot of the fight scenes too, especially between Moon Knight and Ahmet and the season finale. I love how it really mirrored and reflected the fight happening between Moon Knight and Arthur Howell. I also did this in episode three with Layla fighting the security guard and Mark fighting all of the henchmen. But yeah, overall, you know, there were some really great character moments. It was obviously a very character driven show, which I enjoyed, but the plot really kind of suffered. They kind of focused on the characters and kind of let the plot become very kind of simplistic and formulaic in a lot of ways. Overall, this was a very enjoyable watch. It felt very different from the rest of the MCU, which I personally loved. But also, don't go into this expecting a traditional Moon Knight story that you would get in the comics. Because like I said, it is very different. Now be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification, and I'll see you at the next video.